Hey, you're not getting any younger. Ever thought about what's next? What? You mean... So after talking things over, I've decided to call it quits. That was great! Looks like it's Yuji's fault. What's going to happen to us? Oh, without Keiichi, we're done for! Managed to snag the contract again. My name is Keiichi Sato, an employee of a housing company called Doki Doki Howl. But I have a bad feeling about this company staying as it is. Hey, Sato, you got a minute? What's up, Mr. Tanaka? Seems like sales have been dropping lately. Are you taking proper measures? Um, I've been considering it, but... Hmm, but it must be tough if you're not seeing results, right? You got a position to uphold, too. Following that, the second generation company president, Yuji Tanaka, and I discussed my future employment. So, after discussing various things, I've decided to resign voluntarily. For some reason, the boss was nagging me about my work performance. Oh really? Well, but... That was great, wasn't it? However, my wife, Yui, readily accepted my resignation. You had something you wanted to do, didn't you? Yeah, right. I'm worried about Doki Doki Howl, though. Well... I'm sure the other staff can handle it. Meanwhile, the company... Seems like he quit because of Mr. Tanaka. What's gonna happen to us? Uh, if Keiichi isn't here, we're done for. What's got you all down, huh? Isn't it a relief that busybody Keiichi Sato isn't around to meddle with my management anymore? Come on, let's all get fired up and give it our best shot. This guy, probably. Yeah, he really doesn't get it at all. If Keiji isn't here, things, things are, are gonna, gonna be screwed up. up. And then, the days went by. We're, we're down to less than half the contract numbers? Operating profit is also in the red at this point. Wh why did this happen? Well, isn't this the natural outcome? Yes, I think so too. What do you mean? Until now, KG has been bringing in lots of new contracts. That's why we were able to get by. So it's only natural for things to turn out like this when he's gone. What? That's Sato you're talking about? <laughs> no way, he's not that outstanding. Well, to begin with, we've been struggling with low orders since your father's time. But we've ended up here without any countermeasures. If we don't fix the root problem, we're going to get into serious trouble. Hey, hey, what got you all so worked up? I mean, we shifted to the remodeling business. So we should be okay as a company that can adapt flexibly to the situation at the time. For our company though, that business has low margins, making things even tougher. I wonder if he isn't even aware of that. Yuji! Oh, Dad, were you supposed to be kicking back in some tropical paradise living the retired life? Yep, that's right. It was absolutely fantastic. Ha <laughs> ha! But lately, it seems like the company's sales haven't been doing so well, so I'm worried. I'm a major shareholder in this company, so I want you to handle things properly. Yeah, I know, I know. Count on me. Anyway, seems like the performance got worse. Because Keiichi Sato, who quit a little while ago, is gone, you know? What? That Sato? I thought he was good at his job. Anyway, we need someone with sales experience right now. Really? I don't quite get it, but I guess I'll call him back then. Noah, Nagisa, can you guys help me talk him into coming back? Huh? That might be... a little difficult. Huh? Why? Because Keiichi's already... After that, I was surprised when Mr. Tanaka and the others suddenly came to my workplace. H hey Sato! Huh? Mr. Tanaka? And you guys? What's going on? Oh, are you making a reservation for a remodeling? 
Th that's right, Sato. Wait, did you seriously start your own home building company after going independent? Well, as you can see, this is my company. We're operating under the name Tokimiki Home. By the way, what brought you here? Is there something you need? Hmm, well, even if you've gone independent, this industry isn't easy, you know? Things are getting a bit tough, aren't they? If you're struggling, you can always come back to work for us, you know? Mr. Shanaka, the consultation counter is really crowded. It doesn't even compare to our place. Wait, what? These are probably just hired folks anyway. No, thankfully our reservation is already fully booked. Bullshit, there's no way you gain customers in such a short time. Well, to be honest, luck played a big part. I have a strong interest in the social issue of aging society. I've been studying about barrier-free hoping to help even a little. Barrier-free? So with my wife, Yui, who is a first-class architect, we set up a company specializing in barrier-free remodeling and renovation. Surprisingly, we received much favorable responses than we expected. I also invited my reliable colleagues, so we're confident about the quality. He's got a pretty hot wife. Well, I've got Noah and Nagisa as potential wives, so I'm all good. He has a passionate feeling about social issues and the power and ability to realize his dreams. Ah, <sighs> Keiji is so cool. Wait, what? Both of them are totally into Sato? I have to keep an eye on him. Make sure he doesn't cheat on me. Hey, don't get too carried away. After all, your success is just because you stole and got lucky, huh? What? Stole? What do you mean? Don't play dumb. If you look closely at the customers at the consultation counter, I just realized something crazy. Look at that couple over there. Oh, they were customers at our company. I've seen that man over there before. That's what I'm talking about, which means you're just successful because you poached our customers, huh? <laughs> you coward, this calls for a penalty, huh? Um, I think that's okay. Huh? What are you talking about? That's nonsense. Of course, if you took a lot of customers at the same time as opening a business, it would be a problem, but... The customers at the consultation counter now are all people who have come recently and... Your company didn't seem to have any pledges or agreements to prevent poaching, so... There's no way a penalty could be incurred in the first place, you know? Is that true, Dad? Hmm? Pledge? Agreements? Um... I don't remember. What are you doing? You gotta make sure such an important thing is written down clearly. I wouldn't do something sneaky like poaching. No way. I learned a lot from Doki Doki How, and I'm very grateful. I did tell our existing customers that I was leaving the company, but I never solicited them. Ha! Who knows? You can say whatever you want. But more importantly, is your company doing okay, Mr. Tanaka? The customers still there were really mad, saying your company's quality has gone down. It's none of your business. You wait and see. I've got something up my sleeve that'll blow your mind. Is he serious? I'm kind of worried. Mr. Tanaka started a last-ditch effort diving into the real estate business. Hehe, <laughs> I'm so smart. If I keep this up, my reputation will skyrocket. I'll prove them wrong. However, things didn't go well at all. The inventory of lands and other properties strained the cash flow. And he ended up with even more debt. Huh? This is weird. But I'm just getting started, right? I'm still young. Life is long. <laughs> hey, isn't this company pretty much toast? Payments to clients and banks are overdue. I bet the debts are huge. The only move we've got left is... Yeah, we gotta rely on that man. 
a few weeks later. Hey! Hey Noah! Nagisa! How about we grab some lunch outside and discuss work? Huh? Where are they? Huh? They quit. What? When? While you were on a long break. Wait, you're kidding, right? They're the two aces of sales now. That's why sales for this month have dropped even more. We're on the edge of the cliff, you know. I came here because I was worried. What are you doing? Oh, you're here again, Dad. This is my company now, so don't keep dropping by all the time to check up on it. Well, it's not that simple. To break out of this situation, there's only one thing we can do. Listen to me, Yuji. After that, Mr. Tanaka himself took to the consultation counter. Yes, yes, I can give you a discount equivalent to the tax now. Yes, just leave it to me. Thank you very much. Well, about the money, first... Alright, this is good. If we use the down payment to pay off debts and invest in real estate, we could turn things around in no time. I know I could count on you, Dad. Don't make me blush, son. We're the best father and son team. <laughs> <laughs> A few months later. The residential construction company Doki Doki Howl received a commencement of bankruptcy proceedings. From the district court today. Huh? What's wrong, Keiji? Well, it seems that my previous company has gone bankrupt. Oh, how unfortunate. And it was announced that a press conference will be held the next day. Hmm, a press conference? Why do they need to hold something like that? Hey, Keiji Sato. I won't forgive you. It's... it's all your fault. Ah! Uh, what, what happened to you two? What do you mean by what happened? No need for excuses. Having Noah and Nagisa here is proof enough. Not only the customers, you even poached our aces. Yeah, this is a business obstruction. I'm gonna sue you. Mark my words. Be ready for it. Uh, um... Hey! Don't blame him! Yui told you before, right? Without a pledge, it doesn't count as poaching. That's right. You didn't even know we quit, right? Cause you were off vacationing down south with your dad, weren't you? Sh shut up, you traitors! You had done your job right. None of this would have happened. If I may say so, wasn't it too much for you to take over the company? I didn't see any vision from you to lead everyone as a leader. Nor the spirit to protect your employees as CEO. Don't preach to me, you greenhorn president who just started his own company. The reason we got into this mess in the first place was... It's your fault we had to hold a press conference, Dad. What, what are you talking about? If you had been more responsible, this wouldn't have happened. It's your fault. Um, what happened? Oh, that's right. It was written in detail in the weekly magazine. It said Doki Doki Howl the reality of the scam. What? A scam? Yeah, so get this. Even though they're in the middle of bankruptcy proceedings, they went ahead and signed contracts with dozens of clients, allegedly scamming them out of their construction down payments. Whoa, you mean they received money from customers even though they couldn't afford to build houses? <laughs> There's no way, right? Even Mr. Tanaka and his dad wouldn't commit such obvious crime, right? Mmm. Mmm. Seriously? Did they really do that? Please, Dad, cover for me. You go to the press conference alone. The president of used car dealership did it that way, right? What the hell are you babbling about? Making my son clean up his mess is part of being a parent. Just be grateful I'm dealing with you. Dad! It's going to be the rough press conference. 
Should we record it? Ooh, good idea! Then the press conference was held somewhere downtown. I am very sorry. Today's press conference will be limited to 30 minutes. Just 30 minutes? Isn't that too short? Does this mean you have no intention of showing sincerity to the victims? N no that's not what I meant. Then, Mr. Tanaka and his dad claimed their innocence. Victims regret falling for will be completed by the end of the year and wiring the money. There was no lie in those words. In fact, at the time, the house was scheduled to be completed. So, are you saying you plan to scam them from the start? Getting the down payment while talking to a lawyer about bankruptcy? No, not at all. We just had an appointment with a lawyer. But after a few hours of the press conference, they seem to have reached their limit. So, is the responsibility on your son? N no I just did it because my dad ordered me to. Even though I said I didn't want to do it. <laughs> what? Is that true, former president Mr. Shinaka? N no I just gave some advice. But the one who got the contract from the customer was my son. Huh? I believe the full responsibility lies with him. Don't be a jerk, you're ditching me. Hey, you're the one who stabbed me in the back first. What the hell? I've got recordings of you giving the orders. Oh yeah? Well, I know all about your secret bank accounts too. Tell us more about that detail. Were there any other irregularities? I was just following his orders. He's the one to blame. If you're gonna bust someone, take him. What the hell are you saying? He's lying. He's the one who did it. Lock him up already. And so, the father-son argument went on for a while. Wow, they're really getting into a nasty blame game. Even with the whole country watching, it's kind of funny just watching from the sidelines. Alright, alright, let's get back to work, you guys. Okay! Hey, Keiichi! We just got a contract request from the facility. Oh, that's a big job. <laughs> Let's do our best, okay? Afterward, the Tanaka family got arrested. And the press conference became a bit of a laughing matter around the neighborhood for a while. Taking that as a lesson, I've decided to start taking things more seriously from now on. Thanks for watching to the end. Please subscribe to our channel.